Hello and uh, welcome to AppSec America's Oracle EBS Financials Functional Training. My name is Bob and I'm the lead senior consultant for AppSec America and with me today I have Victor is also a senior consultant. And uh, today we are handling general ledger lesson 34 and uh, Victor, please walk us through. <clears throat> Thanks for the introduction, Bob. Um, <clears throat> so welcome to this uh, 34th lesson of uh, Oracle uh, Financials Functional Training. Uh, <clears throat> today we are going to continue with the topic of consolidation and now we have reached the point where we are going to uh, to see uh, how to run the consolidation and data transfer uh, in the system. So we talked about uh, the data transfer consolidation setup process. We looked at uh, what we need to do as a one-time setups and we also looked at uh, what we need to do periodically or monthly <clears throat> in our case. So uh, we have to specify ledgers. Uh, this we do by creating a consolidation uh, definition, which as we said in our previous lesson, uh, the consolidation definition links uh, two ledgers. And then for the co uh, after that, we have to choose a chart of accounts mapping. And we also looked at the two types of uh, mapping that we have. Uh, following segment rules or accounting or account rules. And then we talked about uh, the transfer methods. For the monthly uh, setups, we have to run tra a, a revaluation uh, if they are open foreign uh, currency journals. And we also have to do translation uh, if the, when the two ledgers are in different uh, functional currencies. Uh, we can also use secondary reporting ledgers in, uh, in place of doing translation. And then finally, uh, we have to specify the periods for the source and the target ledgers. And we also have to specify the balance types, whether we want to do actual or budget. Okay. And we also have to specify whether we want to transfer YTD amounts or PTD amounts. So what we are going to do now is we are going to uh, do some uh, preparations. So there are a couple of things that I want to clear up before we do the whole thing. So let's uh, go to Oracle and log in. So I'm going to log in as uh, about to log in as Mascani. So in our setup, uh, we said that we are uh, we are going to use uh, Mascani Enterprises as our our target and uh, Guitar Enterprise as our as our source. Okay. So I just wanted to clear up one thing. Uh, the the guitar ledger I had created before, and it is uh, linked to another user. So you can see we don't have a responsibility here, uh, which we can use to access that ledger. So what I'm going to do right now is just uh, create a responsibility, okay, and uh, attach it to this user, and I'm going to uh, attach that guitar ledger to to that responsibility which I'm going to create. So all of them are going to be under this user uh, Bob Mwiti just to make our uh, our work easier. Okay. So let's go to System Administrator, and we're going to create a new responsibility. So let's go to Security, Define Responsibility. So we can call this new responsibility that we want to create, we can call it uh, Guitar Enterprise uh, Super User, okay. which belongs to uh, General Ledger. So 
for the responsibility key we can just put that in there okay so if i remember this uh, data group it should be standard application it should belong to general ledger this should be a uh, gl let's call super user and the request group should be gl concurrent so this is our new responsibility which we are going to give uh, access to the uh, guitar ledger okay so let's save this close the next thing we need to do is assign that responsibility to our user okay so let's go again to security user define and i'm going to query my user which is bob that is my user and i'm going to add a new responsibility here which is uh, enterprise super user okay so there's already another responsibility attached to the different uh user uh these two they are going to have uh the same uh, access to the same ledger okay but i want now this one to be under under the user that i'm using right now for my scanning okay and save okay so that's good so the other thing we need to do is so that we can be able to see the ledger is we need to assign that data access set to to our responsibility that we've just created so go to profile then um, system the responsibility name is Guitar Enterprise Super User, okay. Um, query the profile option, data access. Uh, find right here. And here we are going to look for that responsibility, which uh, that data access set, which should be <clears throat> now i have already created a reporting currency ledger a journals level reporting currency uh, ledger in us dollars which is where we are going to do our consolidation from okay so that reporting currency ledger it has its own uh, data access set but we also have the data access set for the primary ledger and this one also has access to the reporting currency ledger so we are going to use this one okay so after we've done that save and close this all right so let's go to file and uh, switch responsibility see whether it exists there so there it is it's our enterprise super user okay so let's make sure we can see something there. Let's go to enter, find, and you can see we have a couple of uh, journals posted here. They're in Kenya shillings, but because uh, we have a reporting currency, then it means um, we will be able to uh, we'll, we'll be able to do the consolidation transfer without uh, without doing translation okay now i had entered these journals way before i created the the reporting currency ledger so we are going to have to enter our own new journals for the consolidation okay so because now uh, for example if you go to enter and here now you have access to two ledgers you should have access to two ledgers there you go the reporting currency and the primary okay so if you find you'll see you only have one 
Uh, so we are going to add some more and we're going to do it in a uh, we're going to we're going to do more journals which we're going to use for uh, consolidation okay so that's that <clears throat> the other thing that i want to do now is to go and modify or add uh, values to our Mascani chart of accounts uh, which we are going to map uh, to uh, to values from the subsidiary okay so if we go back to our slides So if we look at our slides, uh, we are, we're going to have, this is the Mascani chart of accounts, and this is the um, a Guitar Enterprise chart of accounts. So we, ha we I want to create these two new values in the company segment uh, to which uh, the values from the, from the um, a corporation segment in the subsidiary are going to be mapped to. Well, of course, this is going to be when we are doing uh, segment rules uh, uh, consolidation using segment. We are going to be doing consolidation using segment rules. So let's go back to Oracle. And uh, let me see what I logged in as. All right, so I'm logged in as a Guitar Enterprise uh, super user. The, these options are universal, so we can do them from, from any responsibility. So I'm just going to stay here just to show you that. So let's go to Financials, Flexfield, uh, Key, then uh, Values. Okay, so Value Set. Go by key flex field. The structure we want is Moscani. Find. So here we already have our two companies. Okay. Uh, Moscani developers and Moscani property managers. So now we want to add uh, two of them. So let's quickly look at uh, the value set for Guitar Enterprise. So this is the uh, corporation segment for Guitar Enterprise, okay? So this is the subsidiary. So like we said yesterday, what we are going to do we are going to to group these two together just to demonstrate uh, like the roll up, okay? And then these two are going to remain um, separate. And when I say that, I mean in the when we are cre when we are creating the corresponding values in the parent value set, okay? So in the parent value set, we're going to have guitar hardware, we're going to have guitar builders, and then guitar architects and interiors are going to be under one, we are going to be mapped, rolled up to one value, which we're going to call guitar design, okay? So let's just go back to that other value set. Okay, come here. So in this value set, the values they have to follow the, the rules for this value set, okay? So we are going to have 003 
and we're going to call this um, Gitao Hardware. Okay. Then we're going to have um, 004. We're going to call this Gitao uh, Builders. And then finally, we are going to have 005, and then we are going to call it uh, Gitao Designs. Okay. And uh, we can save that and close. Okay. Now let's uh, so <clears throat> so we have uh, we have modified or we have added the values in our parent uh, value set the company value set. Now what we need to do is we're going to enter some journals which we are going to use in consolidation. Once we enter the journals, then we are going to go and create a uh, mapping. We are going to do both uh, account rules and segment rules, okay? So let's go back to Oracle. Still logged in as Guitar Enterprise Super User. That's what I want. Enter some journals. I had already also entered uh, rates. So once we enter, uh, once we enter the journals, they'll be automatically replicated and and uh, uh, con converted into the uh, journals level reporting currency ledger. Uh, I had also open periods for both ledgers. So both ledgers are, they have uh, the same periods open, which will enable uh, the system to post journals in the, in the reporting currencies ledger. So you should, uh, you should do that uh, yourself also. Uh, now, maybe the other thing that I have realized when I was, uh, when I was doing this is that when yourself, when you're doing the this implementation, you might not have uh, you might not have uh, you not have another company, right? That that you had created before, uh, unlike me. So the way you can go about it is you can use this company, your version of Mascani, right? You have your own version which you have been you have been using as we are doing the tutorials and you should have some data that you've entered there. So you can use that as a subsidiary and then you create another one, uh, which will be the parent, okay? So you can do your consolidation uh, the other way. So in your case, uh, your version of Mascani can be the subsidiary, right? And uh, then you can create another one to be the parent. But you can also do it the way I'm doing it, but that means you'll have to create um, another ledger and enter some some data in it, create the reporting currency ledger for it, and then do all the consolidation definitions and mapping then, and then do consolidation uh, transfer to, to, to your ledger, the one that you are using right now. So um, I guess it's pretty much up to you how you'd want to do it, but I just wanted to make it clear that um, either way could work, right? Okay, so um, let's go and enter some journals. Um, we are going to uh, we are going to enter a couple of journals. So let's call it consolidation.
Eno. Okay. Um, so what's the period that we want? Uh, this this ledger is using uh, quarters. So if you click here, you will see you have January to March is one period, April to June is another period, July to September, so on. So right now we are in uh, July to September quarter. Okay, that's the third quarter of the year. So. That's okay. Um, I had also entered rates for the whole of um, August and September. So if the effective date is uh, 31st, 30th of September, then we should have uh, exchange rates for that. And that is for the, for the, so that the reporting currency ledger uh, we'll, we'll be able to have journals posted to it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and create the journal. We're not going to pay attention uh, too much to what they represent. So let's go to, okay, Tau Hardware, the account, let's do cash. Location, zero, zero, should be Nairobi, okay. So debit cash, 1,000. Credit some um, revenues. For the same amount, this should be credit. Okay, let's enter another uh, another line. So zero two. And also do cash for that. Location zero zero. Pay too much attention to the location because so. Account, do project revenues. Nine hundred. Let's add another line. Um, let's do another company. So we have. And Utah Architects. Okay. Account should have some consulting revenues there. Okay. Um, so we're going to uh, credit revenues. Let's do uh, 300. Then the imbalancing segment, uh, cash, that's debit cash for 300. Finally, let's do one for company four. an expense account uh, and expenses okay uh, let's debit expense for 1500 Kenya shillings and finally Credit cash for the same amount. Uh, 
1500 credit So those are our journals. I'm going to change this category. Let's see whether we have a consolidation. Yeah, we have a consolidation category. So these are the journals that we're going to be looking out for in our Mascani. This is the journal we're going to be looking out for in our Mascani ledger uh, once we do the consolidation and data transfer, okay? So we can go ahead and Post this. Okay. Um. So it for this to complete. So that we can, so that we can also check whether uh, these journals have been posted in our reporting currency ledger. Okay. Okay. So the posting is complete. And uh, we can close this. So let's see what happens in the journals level USD. So there you have them. You can see the category consolidation. Okay. Let's review this journal. These are the amounts that we entered, and this is the uh, accounted, the journal level um, consolidation ledger. Uh, and the rate used is this, one, uh, one, uh, 0 0.0097, okay? So one Kenya shilling is equals to 0 0.0097. So we have the journals. Uh, here so that means uh, we don't have to do any translation correct so we can just do uh, the uh, the map uh, the definition a consolidation definition between our reporting currency ledger and our Mascani group US ledger let's go back to our slides So we have this, okay? Now, uh, before we do the consolidation definition, I want us to do the uh, chart of accounts mapping. So we are going to start with uh, account rules. So let's look at, look at that slide so that we can remind ourselves. Um, so this is the slide. Remember, for account rules, we said that um, we map each account combination in the subsidiary to the appropriate target. Okay. So we are going to have to think about uh, the accounts that we have used in those journals that we want to test, right? Um, and then we're going to map those accounts uh, to the appropriate accounts in the Mascani ledger, all right? So, mm. 
this is the navigation setup accounts chart of accounts mapping account rules okay so we can also do um we can do the mapping from this responsibility so let's go to setup but let me just switch to Mascani to avoid any confusion. So Mascani group here, super user. So let's go to setup, uh, accounts, start of accounts mapping. So I believe we had created a mapping in our previous lesson. So let's see, control, um, this should be should have guitar in it. So there it is. Okay. So we're going to start with account rules. So let's just uh indicate here that this is for account rules. Okay, ACC. That should be that should be enough indication. Okay, so we have uh, the mapping. Let's go to account rules. So here we enter each combination from the source, and uh, we enter we enter a single combination or a range of combinations from the source here. And then we specify the target account to which it's going uh, to go in the, in the parent ledger, okay? So let's start with account 01. I know we, we used cash, okay? The location is 00. zero. So that's the source account, one source account, okay? So when we go to target, it brings up the Mascani group COA, okay? So now we have to enter a combination or an, the account where we want this uh, uh, this account from the subsidiary to be mapped to. So let's go to company, and what we are going to select is Getao Hardware, right? Because this is the corresponding uh, value for zero one in in the guitar enterprise chart of accounts so let's select guitar hardware the account we want is the cash account okay and then we are not interested in in this other segment okay so for the other segments we're just going to do what to default it you can select any of of these if if, um, if those are the requirements of the client, if they tell you that, but in our case, uh, we're just going to enter the default, okay? And that's true for everything else. Okay. Now we go to the second one. Um, I believe we also had one for um, uh, guitar builders, okay? And it was a cash account. And we want this to be mapped to guitar builders in our Mascani ledger, chart of accounts. So there we go. Guitar builders, sorry, not hardware. The account is still cash. And default for everything else. So as you can see, this is what we were talking about. For account rules, there is a lot of data entry. And so if you have very, very many combinations, then this will be cumbersome, okay? So uh, we had one for 
Getao Architect. Okay. Now for for Getao Architect and the other one, which is Getao Interiors, uh, they are being mapped to one a value in the in the parent uh, ledger, okay, or in the parent chart of accounts. So we can use a range here, right? So we can say uh, for guitar architects to guitar interiors. So okay, for the cash for their cash accounts. Okay, those ones uh, can be mapped to what? Uh, to guitar designs. Okay, so I hope you understood what I did there. So that's also a cash account, and that's default, 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 default. So let's do uh, the other accounts uh, quickly. So we have Guitar Hardware, the other account that we used was, we had uh, Project Revenues, uh, Sales Revenues, sorry. Location zero, 00. We can have this mapped to company guitar hardware okay then let's select an account for uh, revenues that we want to use so we don't have a uh, so oh, sorry i mean we have a sales and revenues uh, account here so we can map uh, that to this default for everything else Let's go to the second one, Guitar Builders account. I believe we had project revenues for that. Location zero zero. Okay. We want to map that to Guitar Builders here. The account. We don't have a project revenues account in our Mascani value set so we are going to use the same sales and revenues account okay then we have um so we did so uh get our architects okay Or guitar architects. We can do guitar architects and to guitar interiors. And we had uh, consulting revenues for that. And uh, was zero zero and we want this to be mapped to guitar designs here sales and revenue account Then the final one which we had, we had one for, we had one for guitar um, interiors for which we did a rent expense, but we are mapping anything uh, linked to guitar interiors and, and guitar architects to one account, to one value here. Uh, which is guitar designs, okay? 
that's why I'm using the range in all the ones for 0, 03 and 04. Uh, the account we used here was uh, rent expense. Okay. And we want this mapped to uh, rolled up. I should be using the term rolled up. So rolled up to GitHub designs and the account should should look for an expenses account. Yeah, so we have expenses here. Okay. And default for everything else. Okay. So those are our account rules. I'm sure we've covered all the uh, combinations that we used in that journal. All right, so let's save this and close. Okay, so we have created our chart of accounts mapping using account rules. We have defined that. We have entered the accounts and how we want them to be um, to be mapped, not rolled up, because this is account rules. Uh, we want them to be uh, mapped to uh, various uh, to the combinations in the to the accounts in the parent ledger. Okay. So now what is left from here is to do what? Is to create the consolidation uh, definition. So let's close this. <clears throat> so here we have uh, we need to create the uh, consolidation uh, definition uh, remember when we create the consolidation definition what do we do we specify the ledgers then we choose the mapping which we have already uh, selected and then we we choose the transfer method. So we do all that from that uh, consolidation definition screen. So this is the navigation, consolidation, then define consolidation. So let's go back to Oracle. Consolidation, define, consolidation. And this is the screen, okay? And you will see all the, all the uh, things that we talked about, the methods in there the currency and all that <clears throat> so uh, consolidation we can call this uh, uh, GitHub Enterprise to Mascani group So here you come to consolidation attributes. What's the parent? This is this is now why I said that the consolidation it it links ledger to ledger, right? While the mapping links uh, chart of account to chart of account. Okay. So the parent ledger is what Mascani You see you have um all the journal, all the ledgers, the US, the main one, primary, the sub ledger level, and the uh, journals level. We want the primary, okay? That's the parent. Currency is USD, okay? What's the subsidiary? We want guitar. So which one do we want? We want uh, uh, we want this uh, so we, 
because we put the currency here as USD, okay, the only the only uh, subsidiary ledgers you're going to see here are the ones which have uh, currency as US dollars, okay. So this is from translation, okay. That's why it has GitHub's ledger USD, okay. But this is the one that we want, journals level USD, okay, the reporting currency ledger. So I'm going to pick that. Which mapping do we want? We already created a mapping and we call it uh, GitHub to Mascani uh, account rules, okay? So we are going to look for that. Should be GitHub. GitHub Enterprise to Mascani account rules. Which method transfer method do we want to use? We want to use balances. With balances, we can use both PTD and uh, YT and YTD amounts, okay? So we can save that, okay? Uh, you also have the option of creating a mapping from this window if you're not if you've not created one, but we already have one, right? That we created separately. So our consolidation definition is set so now uh, what is res uh, what is uh, remaining is to do the transfer which you can do from cl by cl clicking the this button here or you can follow the navigation consolidation then uh, transfer then data okay then come and put in the the information here let's see whether the the window is the same so here we want to look for get, um, so let's go to transfer yes and now when we do it from that window, if, uh, some details are, are pre-filled for us, okay? So this is the consolidation definition. We want to do actual balances, not budget. We want, we are doing uh, balances which we already selected on the consolidation window, the, the definition window. The currency is US dollars, we're going to do period to date amounts okay period in the subsidiary ledger that we want to do this for we did this for the quarter july to september okay so that's the one period for the parent um let me uh, i'm not sure whether i want to do this in september but I'm not sure whether uh, September is open, but I mean, we can still do the transfer because I'm sure August is open. And if August is open, then uh, September is future entry. So the transfer will, will still be done, uh, but we cannot post. So, but we want to do this for September. Okay. So everything looks set. Select transfer, your consolidation concurrent uh, request ID is this, uh, 585827. Okay. So let's go to our SRS screen. Consolidation transfer. Right. So the transfer has taken place. Now the journal import has been launched. Okay. So uh, journals are being imported into the uh, parent ledger, which is uh, Mascani. So let's wait for that to complete. Okay. 
and everything seems to have gone well okay so what do we do let's go and look at our mascani ledger so let's go to journals enter we want to find for the period of september uh, let's find here you have unposted consolidation journals okay so let's review the journals and there you have you have the journals which we which we entered okay and you can see uh the amounts here and you can see that the values used are the ones that we uh, we indicated in our account rules mapping that they should be that they should be used. So that is how you do consolidation. Uh, I'm not going to post this right now. I'm not sure whether uh, September is open, but the concept has be, the concept is clear. Okay. So that's account account rules uh consolidation uh data transfer in our next lesson we are going to look at segment rules uh bob if you have something to add if you don't have something to add that's a good place to end our lesson thank you victor thank you